Hey guys, just doing a remake video today on how you can install the latest firmware on our T-Series head unit. So the way you do this is by downloading the file into a USB stick and then plugging that into the head unit itself. So today I'm using a Windows laptop. Um, you just wanna grab a USB stick, uh, one that you're happy to clear because you wanna format it to FAT32. I'll show you how to do that in a second. Um, but your head unit usually does come with a USB stick but if not, any around eight gigabytes or more should be completely fine. So I'll just plug that in now. And what you wanna do is visit our website. So that's vidia.com.au. And you'll see this tab here called Downloads. We'll also link this in the description of the video. But you wanna go down to T-Series Downloads. And you'll scroll down. And you can see the firmware files here. Now you wanna check if your unit is a Android 13 or an Android 11. If you're not sure, just contact us. Um, we'll be able to tell you straight away from the order. Um, but if you got it fairly recently, it's very, very likely it's gonna be an Android 13. That's what this video is here for today. So you hit firmware download here, and you'll see up in the top right, my download is now starting, so we'll let that go. Right, guys, so once your download is done, I'll just move over to another desktop just to make it cleaner and I'll open my file explorer down here, just like that. So you'll see, if you go to downloads, you should have the zip file just there. Now, when you open this zip file, you'll see update13.zip, rlco.bin, and Mac OS X. All you need to worry about is update13.zip and the rlco.bin. So what you want to do is just quickly extract this. So if you right click it, and then go extract all and just hit extract. That'll go away and do that. And once that's done, what you should see now is it's opened it for me, but in downloads you'll see a version of that file, but it doesn't end in .zip. So in here you'll have update13.zip and rlco.bin. Now if I scroll down on the left here and I open up my USB stick, it's called VDAD, yours could be called something completely different, uh, you'll see it's completely empty. So what we want to do, I'm just going to make another tab to make this easier. Um, so I've got my VDAD over here, uh, just over on the left, and I've got my downloads, once I open up the downloads, on the right. So I'll open up the folder in here, and I've got my update 13 and RLCO. So these are the only two things you want to drag over into the VDAD folder. So just let that copy across. Alrighty, so once that's finished, you should be looking in the USB VDAD there, and I can see that the only things in there are the RLCO.bin and update 13.sit. Make sure you wait for the complete copying across, otherwise you'll have a corrupted file. Um, but once that's all done, you should be good to go right click on the VDD, or if you're on a trackpad, uh, that's a two fingered click, and you can just go and hit eject. And then you should be able to just pull it out like so, and then we'll move it on over to the test bench. Alrighty guys, so moving on over to the head unit itself, I've got the USB with me. You just wanna go, I'll show you on the back, I've got a USB cable coming out the back of this, so it's this one here. Um, but any of the USB uh, cables that you have plugged into the unit will do. Uh, this one's coiled up right now because it's our test bench, but I'll just try and plug that in one-handed. There you go. Once you've got the USB plugged in, if you look at the screen, you should see the option come up to update the unit. And I didn't touch anything there. That's just after plugging in the USB. If you've done everything right, you should have the option to update. And all you have to do from this point is hit upgrade and then OK and then it should just go away and install the update. Alrighty guys, so that took about seven or eight minutes, but the firmware update is now installed. It would have just rebooted the unit once it finished. So you can just double check now. You can go to the system app here and go to system again at the top, and I'm already in it, but if you scroll down, or not scroll down, it's just here, software version, and you can just double check. It should say app version here and you'll see the date. So the one that I've installed right now, the latest is 2025-0730. Uh, and that's what it says on the website as well. So as long as it says that correctly, then you'll know you have updated the unit successfully. Cheers.